Please click our subscribe button and our notification bell to receive notifications on our latest uploads. Thank you. Hi kids! Welcome to your Mathematics 4, Quarter 2, Week 1, Lesson 3. I am your Teacher Z. Our topic for today is Differentiating Prime from Composite Numbers. Okay, now before we start, let's define factors again. Factors are the numbers we multiply to get a product. Again, factors are the numbers we multiply to get a product. For example, we multiply 1 and 4 or 2 and 2 to get 4. Or we say that 4 is equal to 1 times 4 or 2 times 2. So the factors of 4 are 1, 2, and 4. Did you get that? Okay. Now, will you try identifying the factors of 5 and of 8? The factors of 5 are 1 and 5 or 1 times 5. And the factors of 8 are 1 and 8, 2 and 4 or 1 times 8 and 2 times 4. Now, how many factors does 5 have? How many? Okay, very good. We have 1, 2 factors. How about 8? How many factors does 8 have? Okay, very good. There are 4. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4. Very good. Okay, let's try another. How many factors do 17 and 24 have? Okay, will you list the factors of 17? How about 24? Okay, reminder, if the discussion is too fast for you, please pause the video. Okay? Okay, are you done? Okay, let's check. The factors of 17 are 1 and 17 or 1 times 17. And how many factors does 17 have? We have 1, 2. So 17 has 2 factors. How about 24? Factors of 24 are 1 and 24, 2 and 12, 3 and 8, 4 and 6, or 1 times 24, 2 times 12, 3 times 8, and 4 times 6. And how many factors does 24 have? Okay, let's count. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 24 has 8 factors. Very good. Now, let's take a closer look at this. What are the factors of 5 again? Okay, good job. The factors of 5 are 1 and 5. How about 17? Okay, yes, very good. The factors of 17 are 1 and 17 or 1 times 17. Okay, let's take a closer look again at the factors of 5 and 17. So again, the factors of 5 are 1 times 5. And for 17, we have 1 times 17. How many factors does 5 have? Okay, very good. 1, 2 factors. How about 17? Okay, yes, it also has 2 factors. 1, and what are those factors? For 5, the factors of 5 are 1 and 5, or 1 and itself. 
For 17, its factors are 1 and 17 or 1 and itself. Did you get that? Okay, let's move on. So 5 and 17 are called prime numbers. Again, 5 and 17 are called prime numbers. Now, what do you think does prime number mean? Anyone? Okay, very good. So when we say prime numbers, these are numbers with only two factors. Again, prime numbers are numbers with only two factors. And what are those factors? One and itself. Again, prime numbers are numbers with only two factors, one and itself. Did you get that? Okay, now let's take a closer look at 8 and 24. What are the factors of 8 again? Okay, yes, very good. How about 24? Okay, good job. Let's list them. 8 has 4 factors. 1 and 8 and 2 and 4. And how many factors does 24 have? Okay, it has 8 factors, 1 and 24, 2 and 12, 3 and 8, and 4 and 6. 8, aside from 1 and itself, and 24, aside from 1 and itself, has other factors. So meaning, 8 has more than 2 factors. Again, how many factors does 8 have? Okay, it has 4 factors and 24. Okay, more than 2 factors also. It has, okay, 8 factors. Very good. Now, 8 and 24 are composite numbers. Now, what do you think does Composite number mean. When we say composite numbers, these are numbers with more than two factors other than one and itself. Again, when we say composite numbers, these are numbers with more than two factors other than one and itself. Did you get that? Okay, good job. Okay, let's try this. Say P if the number is a prime number and C if it is composite. Again, say P if the number is a prime number and C if it is composite. Are you ready? Okay, number one, 15. Is it a P or a C? Okay, very good. It is a C. Why? Because it has more than two factors. How about number two? 29. Is it a P or a C? Okay, good job. It is a P. Why? It only has two factors, one and itself. How about number three? 30. Yes, good job. It is a C. Why? Because it has more than two factors. Good job. Okay, now it's time to do some exercises by yourself. Have your pen and paper ready. You simply write P if the number is a prime number and C if it is composite. Are you ready? Okay, let's do number one. Number one, we have 12. Number one, 12.
Number two, 19. Number two is 19. Okay, let's do number three. Number three, we have 23. Number three is 23. Are you done? Okay, let's do number four. Number four is 36. Number four, 36. Okay, let's do our last number, number five. We have 49. Number five, 49. Are you done? Okay, now it's time to practice some honesty. Check your own works. Are you ready? Number one. Answer is? Yes, very good. Answer is C. How about number two? Okay, good job. Number two is a P. How about number three, 23? Okay, yes, it is P. How about number four? Okay, number four is C. And number five? Okay, yes, good job. Number five is C. You did an awesome work today, kids. Good job. I hope you're now ready to do your modules. You can do it. Until next time, goodbye.